Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Oki Outdoor Adventures. We're taking it way, way, way back for the channel today. And we're gonna talk about monster bass. So we are going out with the old and in with the new. So monster bass has switched to the bait bags. Now they've been talking about this for several months now and I'm really excited about the transition to the bait bags, I think that this is a much better overall approach, not only from a business perspective, but from the consumer side, it makes sense, right? The boxes, while wow, cool, uh, just they don't really serve much of a purpose. Um, you know, they're mo I think every one of mine has gone to uh, the garbage in some capacity. So, you know, whether they're being recycled or, um, you know, stuck on shelves for decoration, whatever, they just, they didn't make a whole lot of sense. And to me, Switching to the bait bags is a fantastic progression for monster bass. So I have no idea what's in this bag, guys. I just opened it. Um, I mean, I can kind of see what's on the top, and I'm already super excited. Uh, that's actually January's box. I uh, I got that picked up. So I, I hadn't been uh, I hadn't been doing much with monster bass over the last few months due to some things that were going on in my life. But we got that squared away. I'm back, ready to represent the team and and move forward. We're also gonna. We're going to talk about this and and this at some point. I just got to decide what video that's going to be. So let's just jump right in, guys. Let's let's jump in and see what we got for February in the South region. That's enough talking. Like I said, off the jump, super excited. We got the three and three quarter inch Rage Swimmers from Striking. These are one of my favorites. And man, this color. Uh, I've actually got these in the uh, in the boat right now. This is Pearl Flash. Uh, great, great color. One of my favorites. Probably my favorite uh, all-purpose smaller swim bait color. That that pearl is just phenomenal. We got a four and a half inch battle bug creature bait from HR Baits. I'm gonna have to go look up HR Baits. I'll be honest with you. I don't know anything about them. The packaging is nice. It's not just a zip shut. There was actually a, a firm seal there. So let's get this open and take a look at one of these baits. Okay, so it's kind of a almost like a beaver style bait. It's not bad. It's a, that's an interesting color too. I'll see if it it says that sand crawler and there's six of these in in the package. So it's it's kind of that beaver style, right? You get these appendages that'll kick. They are stuck together. So that's nice. You'll be able to pull those apart and then your, your little side flaps will create a nice little action. So that's pretty cool. Uh, four and a half inch battle bug creature from HR Baits. That is an interesting color. Baby poop, be the color I would call that. Doesn't mean I don't like it, it's just an interesting color. Let's get a, we got another soft plastic here. This one comes from Thunderhawk. And I'll be honest, I don't know much about Thunderhawk either, but this is another crawl creature stock bait. It does look like there's a few more than six in this pack. Let's take a look. So this is uh, the Camel Crawl and Crow Smoke Crow. So this is a this is a crawl. Kind of reminds me of a 13 fishing crawl in a way. The uh, the pinchers have a very similar feel to the 13 fishing, and then uh, the body's got the ridges. So these are going to hold. These will capture air, uh, capture bubbles, and uh, create a little bit different swim or a little bit different float. Uh, I do like the color. It's kind of a Christmas tree, red and green with a little bit of gold flake mixed in. I don't think there's any unusual scent used, so these will be really nice. Could be a nice trailer, could be something nice to throw when uh, when the bike gets slow and you want to bounce something off the bottom. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's that's a good one. These guys are uh, out of Searcy, Searcy, Arkansas, so pretty local to me. You know, a couple hours away. It's pretty cool. Happy to support them. So that'll be a nice addition to the plastic pack. We are going to keep moving. There's a few things in here I'm trying to reach around and grab. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, since we talked about the plastics, let's uh, go ahead and share. We got the Spearpoint Wide Gap 3, or no, 4 aught 3 pack. So that's a Monster Bass exclusive. Let's take those spear points out. These, this is a neat hook. I've seen these, I haven't had an opportunity to use them, so I'm actually glad that I got a, uh, a pack of these. But that's an interesting interesting style for a hook. Let's hold it up this way. So you'll really be able to get the bait settled on that hook and then uh, 
creating the gap. That's going to be really nice. Cool. I like that too. All right. What are we looking at? Let's let's pull let's pull you guys out really quick. We got a new sticker for the boat, so we'll get that put up. A sapish. Boat's covered up right now for some reason. Okay, next on the list, we got the Biffle Junkyard Jig. And uh, so you guys can hear that rattle. That's uh, it's nice. I love the head on this. We're going to go ahead and take this out of the package and give you guys a better view of it. But you have these rattles on the back that are going to create a lot of noise. The weed guard is stiff, but not too stiff. I don't try to get that not to focus on my face. So it's stiff, but not too bad. I do like the color. Uh, it's not quite a green pumpkin. It's a little bit of a chartreuse with some green pumpkin and uh, an orange. And then the flat head on that, that jig head will set nicely on the bottom and create a lot of action with that skirt. Then those rattles, you know, that's going to draw those those extra bites in. So that's that's cool. I hadn't hadn't seen one of those before. Uh, we got the Lunker Hunt Slash 12S jerk bait, and this this looks like a deep diving. This is a 5 8 ounce, 4 and 4.3 inch, 12 foot diving jerk bait, and uh, I, like, I like the color on this. I've only got one deep diving jerk bait right now, so this is a this is a nice addition, and the, the time of year jerk baits are still popping with it being, being a little bit cooler, but. And check out the check out the freaking bill on that. Is that not a hoss? But that sucker will get down. But you see the coloring there, the blue, the chartreuse uh, bloodline, and then kind of the pearl clear bottom. Hooks feel pretty good. I'm not normally I'm not normally much of a fan of Lunker Hunt, um, but I don't know. We'll we'll give that one a shot. Sticky hooks, deep diving jerk bait. Can't really go wrong. So we'll, we'll play that one. And then the final two that we've got here, I'm actually very, very excited to see this. I did not know that this was coming, but uh, this is the Cotton Cordell Pencil Popper. This is an OG bait. Like uh, my dad, this, this, this was a bait that my dad would throw. Um, and not only in this downsized version, but he would get out around the spillways and throw big like the big full-size popper pencil poppers for striper uh so that one that that elicits a little bit of a kind of an emotional response in a way so pretty happy to see this it's red with that i mean excuse me white or pearl with the the red nose on it these are great you can walk these you can pop them um man that's this is a good one I'm, I'm, this is a very nice addition plus listen to listen to all that noise You get a good walk going, get those rattles moving, and every time you pause, just blow ups, blow ups. And then finally, we've got a uh, a Strike King Series Four, uh, five to eight crankbait. I've actually got this model in the tackle box right now, so I may use this one for a giveaway, or maybe give away one of the ones that are already in the box. Well, let's don't let's not open that. Let's see. We, I started to tear it. But I left it for you guys, so we, we may we may give that one away. And then we got the uh, the what's inside card, which I went through all of that. But uh, I'm going to tell you guys really quick about the Better Bag Challenge. You can win a fifty dollar Monster Bass gift card. So we're super excited about the Monster Bass bait bags, but we're new to the game, so we need you to, we need you to help us out. Show us all the creative and unique ways you use your Monster Bass bait bag. Post a picture to Instagram showing how you use your free bait use your free bait bag and tag the better bag for a chance to win a $50 monster bass gift card while you're at it give monster bass a follow if you're not following monster bass guys you're giving you're giving well if you're not following monster bass guys you're missing out they are one of the uh, they're one of the brands companies organizations that engage very heavily with their their following um their their pro staffers their ambassadors um they're they're very much engaged they will shout you out on social medias they will share your pictures uh so it's really nice um similar to maybe some of this other stuff that i'm <coughs> wearing um yeah big things y'all big thing net bait 
Netbait, y'all see me? Halo. So, yeah. All right, there you go, guys. And uh, just just to talk very quickly about the bait bag, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty surprised. I thought this might be a little bit lower quality, just because you're mass producing, right? You're 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 trying to pump out as much or as many of these as you can uh, to get to your customer base. So, you know, from a production perspective, I think your cost has to come into play. Uh, but this this feels really well done. I think this will be nice to. Uh, hold some some soft plastics instead of trying to throw them in boxes and carry them around um, I mean they, they, they look good they're they're generic so there's not a lot of of flash which is good right it's it's a good thing uh, it's just tackle storage so the zipper's nice you could use this as a dry bag if you want to you can use it as a, uh, like I said a soft plastic bag you could throw terminal tackle in there uh, for you guys that are, are fishing ponds I mean, you don't want to carry a, a, a giant bag around, so throw you a couple baits in that, uh, maybe some soft plastics, a couple hooks, a couple weights, and uh, you're all set and you're not lugging a bunch of stuff around. So for me, I think for this first bag, I'm going to use it for camera gear. I'm going to throw my batteries in there, probably uh, extra extra cards for the GoPro, charger, whatever it is, and uh, use it as a dry bag. So. At any rate, guys, that's enough for this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you made it to this point, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Go over to the Monster Bass Instagram page. Tag them, comment on any picture, tell them that Oki sent you. Um, I would greatly appreciate that. And we will catch you guys next time on the water. Thanks.